Pulse was also hit pretty hard by flooding. The number of houses impacted wasn't quite as high as other areas, but what was hit got hit pretty hard. And today the cleanup process began at Colby Park, which the mayor says is certainly a priority. Take a look. There's a lot of work. It's just we get some people out here to help. We can get started on things and get going from there. Colby Park in Windsor Heights is a shell of its old self. Judging if my elevation's right, we were about right here in water. Running water. After those muddy floodwaters came rushing through here, a mess was left behind to clean up. We drained pretty well. The main thing is the creek's got to go down, and that means there's got to be room in Raccoon River and room in the Des Moines River for the, all that to go. Otherwise, it doesn't go. They're doing it with a small, dedicated group of volunteers from across town. Even though the waters have gone away, there's still a ton for them to do. We want to uh, get the ballpark cleaned up, get the residue off the fences. We've got an awful lot of mulch to spread in the uh, areas after we raked it all out. And while the main focus for now is fixing individual homes in town, city leaders know this is close behind on their list of priorities. This is uh, the, one of the prime areas within the uh, metro area for weddings, events, and everything else. We like to make it nice, but we've also got a contamination issue we want to get rid of. Now the city is working on some more cleanup dates at this point. At this point, though, nothing is official, but they are working to get it all done before any more summer concerts can be completed.